Hey guys, it's Mel. Um, sorry about the lighting. We're sitting here in my kitchen, but my daughter's over asleep. My youngest daughter's over here asleep in her swing. So um, I want to kind of stay down here. But um, this video is going to be, and thank you for all the interest um, in the tag swap that I'm trying to um, gather together. So while I have a minute, um, I thought we could do a little chat and I wanted to kind of share more details about the tag swap. Now, um, I need you to listen to the details, however, um, because they're not quite all ironed out, I just want to give you my ideas. You'll have one more chance even after today, like if you say I'm still in, whatever, you'll have one more chance after the next video that I do that'll have all the like exact, exact details and then you can be like, mm, I'm still in or no, that doesn't you know, work for me. So, um, everything's pretty much still going to stay the same, so it should be fine, you know, for you, but, um, I'm just trying to, like, iron out the details because, um, in my past swaps, what I did was, because it was, it would be too hard for me to, um, like, assign or, like, I don't know, for everybody mailing things out, I just made a group address list and you got who you needed from the groups that you were in. But, like I said, this one I want to make... I'm trying to make things run smoother, and that's how you learn. You know, you do these little swaps, you're like, this didn't work, or that did work, or whatever. Um, so, I heard on, and I got this is why I got to find out more details. I heard on someone else doing a swap, um, a couple other swaps, that they, and you guys could probably fill me in on this, they, instead of me putting the addresses out there and leaving that up to you and make sure everybody gets the list, um, they had like the host, like everybody mailed stuff to the host with a prepaid envelope and then the host then sends everything out. And I kind of like that because then you see who's really, you know, going through with their commitment, who really send in their tag. So that way, you know, there's not people that are just receiving things and not even participating. And, um, usually, um, with the exception of this last swap I did, I've had nothing but good, you know, feedback, you know, good participation normally, but you never know. You never know. And I try to, um, not to say I won't allow, um, because ha it's just like with, you know, how they do with credit. Like if you don't have credit yet, a lot of places, um, you know, don't allow you to do it. And you think, well, how am I supposed to? And just like with jobs, you know, like, well, not enough experience, but if each job keeps saying not enough experience, how are you supposed to get the experience? So, um, but I do like to do, like, if you want to be in the swap and you don't, you know, I check that you make videos. I check that you're on there often. Um, I check that, um, you're even into credit, like, I kind of, not that I do a background check, but I just want to make sure that it wasn't, you know, say, you know, somebody real young that, you know, wasn't really into crafts and just, you know, I just try, but you can't see through everyone. You don't know, even if they are crafty people, sometimes, you know, they don't go through with the commitments, but, um, I don't want to harp on that too much because, um, like I said, I normally don't have any trouble with that. Um, for the most part, you know, the, the little bit of trouble that I do have, it's not even worth, you know, mentioning because there's more good than bad. So we'll leave it at that. So anyway, um, what I wanted to do as far as this tag swap, so this tag swap is going to be a Christmas tag swap. So just, I figured I'd make a few samples and these aren't all finished, but just to give you an idea of what this means, because I know there's ATG tags, there's just like tags that are, um, you know, decorative, which is fine, but I was more thinking along the lines of, like, tags that you could put on gifts. Um, so I just want to make that, you know, clear. And if it's just a regular decorative tag that you can hang up, that's fine, too. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys so it wasn't anything, you know, too fancy or too, you know, whatever. But here's one thing that I will ask. Um, just to kind of put in your all to these tags, like, um, you know, use your fancy stuff or think outside the box or, you know, not even that it has to be fancy stuff, but just put your time into it. Um, so I made a couple examples and again, these aren't like, you know, perfect or anything, but just to give, you know, anybody who, um, my neighbor's car alarm, you hear it? It keeps going off like all day, just randomly. It's almost like the wind keeps setting them off. It's so creepy. Um, but anyway, hopefully they shut it off soon. So I made a few tags just as examples and um, I just want you guys to like have fun with this. Like use your, you know, sparkly stuff, use your vellum, use your, like I was doing my embossing powders and I have so much fun. It's like, I'm such a little kid. Like when I go to do it, 
and I heat emboss it and just to see it change, you know, it's like magic. I love it. And even Maya likes to come in and watch it. So I made a few examples and this one, um, actually I'll show you some of these first. So here's one I want to show you and just to give you an idea and they can be like this size. Here's the size of my hand just so you can gauge. Um, they can be this size. They can be, um, I would say like no smaller than this. Um, like I have ones that are also this size. I'll show you in a minute. But um, but what I mean by like put your all into it, like you know try to um, like I don't I d used what I had like this was a dye that I have that's stitched. And then I cut it out with acetate. But I don't really have like Miss Tina sent me some acetate, but I used it all already. Um, she sent me a couple sheets to sample. But I'm really loving it. So I used, um, this is like the packaging from my Big Shot. It had it on there and I saved it. So like I just cut off those edges so it's like a sheet and then I used it. So I don't know if you can tell, maybe like this. So I used this acetate and then I cut this, I stamped this little image out and then I colored it in with my Copics and tried to make it look like a real fire and I used my, um, not Wink Estelle because I don't have one of them, but one of those little... Um, Miss Marilyn, she um, put me onto that. It was one of those like Spica pens or something that's like really fine gold glitter. So you, I don't know if you can see, but like there's glitter um, on the Santa's hat, like all all amongst the tree. But you could probably see better. And there's a glare, of course. But I use my glitter paper. I use this little circle punch out of yellow glitter to be like the moon, you know, looking in the window of that cute little scene. There's a little boy with his cat. Or, I don't know if that's a cat or a dog, but um, but yeah, these are stamps that I had for a long time. I just never used them. There's a couple different scenes, so I have plans for to make other cute ones. And then I use like this is what I mean. Just like use your stuff that you might be like, oh, I don't know how to use it or whatever. Like get put your craft room to use. And I had I heard one of you say that you just redid your craft room and you want to you know like put it to use. So this would be a good little um, swap for you to join. And I have a bunch of these that I found myself like this is a green rhinestone Brad. I found myself like saving stuff saying oh no that's that's fancy that's fancy like use it like you're just gonna keep it in there so um I just thought that was cute and this little tinsel ribbon I love it um Miss Mindy um my Canadian buddy she um gave this to me in a swap I think we did a couple different Christmas card Christmas card swaps I had um you know a couple years past but I love it and um she gave me this color and I think like a pinky color but it really looks cute on these tags so this these ideas just kind of came to me. So this tag in particular, so I did a layer and then I even used because I don't have like a frame cut out, I use my craft knife and cut around like I cut the tag out in red, cut it out in acetate, cut it out in the glitter and even this back one that I'll show you. But um so because I don't have this little die that would cut out the center to make it like a um, shadow box, I used my craft knife and just went straight and didn't even measure and just cut around so you'd still have that fancy, I don't know if you can see but that dotted edge on it, um, it's kind of hard to see in the camera. So um, I did that for this one, and then I kind of made it with the brad here. I made it like interactive, so it you know kind of spins up, and you have your to and from. And then I used just a little. This was a Studio G punch, see with the star in it. Um, and then so there's your to and from, because part of the rules on these swaps is that it's going to be a gift tag, and you just have to put to and from somewhere. It can be on the back, it can be whatever. Um, and then I just stamped this little sentiment, I don't know if you can see it on this pattern paper that I cut it out another time, um, with my, uh, have yourself a merry little Christmas. So that's just an idea of a tag. So these are the kind of tags that I mean. And I know there's fancy, like you guys do, those big, huge tags, which is fine if that's what you choose to do. Um, but this is just to kind of help with little examples of what I mean. I made this one. Um, I cut it out. Like, use your shapes. Like, even if you have a Cricut, or if you have a silhouette, or even if you don't, even if you only have a die cut machine, or trace it, or cut it out. Just a fun little shape. So this is obviously a Christmas ornament, and I stamped "Have yourself a merry little Christmas." And this is like a foil little snowflake. I don't even know if you can see. I use my Martha Stewart punch um, with my gold glitter paper um, to make this bow. Then I have this fancy twine. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like metallic gold in there, black and white. So it just made me think of the holidays. It's pretty different. And then I did my to and from. And then see this little stitching here? That was used with a hole punch that, whatever this is, one eighth inch um, hole punch. I just kind of went up the side just to give it some extra. So like even things like that doesn't have to be, you know, expensive, like that you have all these expensive, you know, things, but, you know, just take your time on it is what I'm saying, because that's, that's what I think really makes a difference. So um, there's that one. 
and then I made this one with vellum. I did vellum, I did gold shimmer paper, gold glitter paper, and then some of my paper tray ink, um, it's like eggshell paper. But this was I was having fun with my embossing. So this one, I don't know if you can tell, I bought gold, gold metallic embossing, detail gold and detail silver. Um, so it just makes you think of that Christmas song, silver and gold. <laughs> so um, anyway, I usually don't mix those two together, and I kind of wish I didn't on this one, um, but it's not awful. So I did it in vellum, and then I have this fancy, um, not fancy, but pattern paper behind it that I cut out this tag. This was a um, My Favorite Things tag. Then I used my um, Martha Stewart Branch Punch and cut out in a couple different, the two matching colors, like the beige and the gold, glimmer gold. And then I did my bow punch, and I did a, put a little heart in the middle for embellishment. Mm -hmm. I used this rustic um, cream color twine for the tag. I did a couple like little doodles around the top. Um, then that's for that. And then on the back, I did, let me sh get it flipped up. Okay, then the back I kind of embossed it too. I don't know if you can see the to and from. And then I did a double layer of this bow. It just make just does a little difference. And I did some confetti heart punch, and I um, just uh, I just um, adhered that to that. And then I even embossed around with the stamp that I had that was dotted around it. So um, this one wasn't my favorite, but I you know I I embossed and I used the vellum. So just stuff like that. And just these are just to give you ideas. Um, and sometimes we're the hardest on ourselves. And then I did these two. I did two versions of this one. So I got this stamp from the scrapyard, and I think it was like, you know, something cheap, like $5, but I just thought she was so cute. Um, she was on clearance. So she was called, like, Mistletoe Girl, and I don't know, what is it, CC Designs? I'm forgetting. I'm, like, having a mind blank. But um, anyway, I thought she was so cute. So it's a, I white um, heat embossed her. I don't know if you can tell. It's not just white, um, it's not just white ink. And she's holding up mistletoe, and she's, like, kind of, like, puckering up. And, of course, she has the lashes, which I love. Um, and she's on her little tippy-toe. And I thought that was cute. So I really want to do one of these on white and actually stamp it with the Copics. But I had fun just heat and balls. It just gives it a different look, you know, with the red, with the Christmas. And this was my Emma Aguilar. I don't know if you can see. It's, like, stitched edged all the way around. Um, I've had these tags for a while, but I just haven't had a chance to use them. So this is why it's good to do this swap. So then I did some like doodling around here. Um, and I did a little heart, heart punch out. And then here's more of my tinsel from Mindy. Um, and then on the back, I just did it up. Just stamp your to and from. This is a vellum heart that I just folded in the center to, um, make it stand out a little bit. And just did my doodling with my white gel pen. And here's my heart, you know, the negative heart part. So I just thought that was cute for a little Christmas tag to put on something. And then here's the gold embossing powder version. So I don't know if you can tell, but she's embossed and it's like glimmery. Um, and then I did the little heart cut out. And I still, and then I used my, I just changed it up with the ribbon. Um, I did, what is this? Oh, my glitter gold ribbon. So, you know, just switch it up and do different versions. So those were those two. And then the last one I have to show you is um this one's my favorite i don't know why um so i saved this one for last to show you so this is another tag that i made and i just had fun on sunday i was up there making this so um i once again used my tinsel my favorite tinsel so mindy can you tell i'm loving your um goodies you gave me um and this one i put these little i don't know if you can see i have these little um, little Christmas bells on there tied with this little shimmery twine that I have and then I stamped on vellum and this one says have yourself a merry little Christmas that's I love that song um, so I stamped that on vellum and cut it die cut it out with my tag and then I don't know if you can see there's two sparkle um, this one got moved two sparkle um, snowflake things and I just punched it with my little hole punch to get the tag and did the same thing on this one and then I did created this little scene so it's like a little little shaker box but um instead of putting stuff in there because I didn't know if it was going to cling the stuff that I had would cling to the side and I wanted to use the stuff that Marilyn gave me and I'll probably do another one like this so anyway this is a die that I have let's see it's like an ornament die and it doesn't have a cutout. It was just one solid piece. But then I mixed and matched with my um, circle spellbinders. I just, um, so I cut out this one in silver. And then I used my circle to cut out the window. And then I did another layer of the whole thing of the acetate. And then I cut out the glitter bottoms. And I just cut them by hand to make them look like snow rifts or whatever that word is. And um, 
then I cut out another um, pattern paper for the back. And then on the sides, I just put a little bit of um, 3D tape around it to make it pop out. And then I colored this little, this was from, um, oh, what is that called? Stampers? I can't remember. Oh my gosh, my mind is like not right. But um, you guys are probably looking at me like, oh, I know. Um, but anyway, I ordered this stamp from some stamp company that I can't think of right now. If I think of it, I'll put it in here. And it's this cutie little penguin. I had him for a while. So I colored him up in my Copics, did a little gray for shadowing and stuff. Sorry about this glare. I'm trying to see if I can block the my light up there. But um, but I put him back there and I popped up these little snow rifts under here so that he looks like he's kind of sitting there. And then I drew some white gel pen snow coming down and added some glitter snowflakes, big and small, from a punch that I had. And then just down here, it looked like it needed a little something, so I did a little heart with two clear rhinestones. And then I did my little tinsel, and instead of stamping the image here, I just heat embossed it with silver. I don't know if you can see it. Silver there. And then the back, like I said, I um, used my a pattern paper stack I had and then cut out a smaller because this was like a spell, it's not spell binders, but it's one of those sets that had a bunch of different sizes of, like this is another, I don't know if you can see that, but another um, ornament. And I cut, this is vellum, so I stamped it with my stays on so the to and from. So just to, just to change it up a little bit and then I added a little tie back there. So they're each a little bit different, but this was, this one was my favorite with the with the little bells um, and the little scene there. This was Maya's favorite too. So what I mean is just, you know, put your all into your tags, you know, try to make little scenes or do something out of the box that you wouldn't normally do. And I know some people would say, oh, this is a lot of work for, um, you know, a tag or something. But the way I look at it is, you know, and why I say just take your time on them is, you know, the reason we do, like crafters do this, like you can just buy things at the store, but they're not going to look like, you know, they put their hard work into it. And if they do, they're going to cost a lot, but we have fun making this. So anyway, that's what I mean. Just put, you know, try to put, you know, some effort into it to make, you know, it special for, you know, the recipient. And I'm sure they'll do the same for you. Um, so it's not any pressure either. It's just, you know, basically what I'm saying is, um, just put take your take your time um, and just you know try different things out and I bet it'll come out nice like I didn't know what I was doing before I was making these I just had fun in there one Sunday I'm like oh and then I said oh I'll use my glitter paper I'll use this so you know just things like that so I hope this gives you guys an idea so now it leads me to this after all this chat oh my god I'm at 17 minutes um, thank you first of all if you stayed with me through the end of this video and if you guys are still into, um, you think you want to do this, it's probably going to be a small group, 10 to 20 people max. Um, most likely you're um, going to have one to two partners. And I would say probably the most tags you'd have to make is 20 tags. Um, it may even be 10. So you might have one to two partners to send it to. And I may, I'm going to try to iron it out to where you guys are sending it to me. Um, and then I send them out because that way I can kind of see, make sure everybody's sending things out and kind of know, you know, to have them in by deadlines. And just to show you, I got this at the dollar store and I know there'll be different, it's like little bubble envelopes and they were, these were, um, two for a dollar. So they're 50 cents each. So, and it says, this is what it says here, but two foil, um, bubble envelopes and it says they're six by six size, ideal for CDs. So this is the size they are. I just think they're so cute. And they had a bunch of colors. They had gold that would be good for Christmas. They had blue. They had purple. Of course, I wanted to get the purple, but I made myself get the red just to try it out. But I think something like this would be perfect to mail these out in. And, um, and I, you know, just put your tags and protect them. You might want to put them in um, just a little bit of tissue wrap and put them in there. You can even add a card if you decide to make the person a card that you're sending it to for Christmas. But just, you know, something like this. They're not that expensive. They're 50 cents, you know, to mail them. Um, and they're small. And so I have to iron out the details as far as shipping and, you know, the prepaid envelopes. I think the way other people did it was um, they had them do like one of those prepaid, I think it was like $6.00. Uh, so they mailed in their prepaid envelope to themselves, I guess. That's what I have to figure out um, and, you know, how that works. And so I may go with it that way. So, again, if you're if you are interested, um, let me know. I'm going to leave this open a couple days and um, just put, 
put your name in below and just, you know, in the comments below and just say, I'm interested. And just also add, because if I can get like, say two um, people from Canada, at least two where I can partner you guys up and that'll be cheaper for you guys too. Um, I, I'll of course try to do that to make things easier. Um, and just so just below put, I know I'm, I'm interested and um, just put where you're from. Like if you're in the US, um, or if you're Canada or whatever, so we can go from there. And um, I'm going to try to keep it U.S. but um, or uh, U.S. and Canada. So um, if you're from Canada, I'll try to match you with somebody. I may or may not, depending on interest, like be able to get you somebody, but I will try. So um, so I'll, I'll let you know when this is closed, and I can only take like the first couple because, I, like I said, I'm going to keep this small just to keep it more manageable. Um, and, um, we'll go from there. So thank you guys for listening. Let me know below, um, how you're feeling or, you know, if you're in, or if you'd like to be included in something like this. So it'll be fun, you know, to get these out and, you know, you can get a little package in December. So let me know guys. And sorry, this video was so long and, um, I will talk to y'all soon. Oh, one more thing. I want to show you these cute little guys that I got at Joanne Fabrics today. Aren't they cute? <laughs> They're these little elf men and this one's holding this one's holding a little gift and this one's holding a little candy cane I just thought they were so cute I couldn't um I couldn't resist so anyway um hope you enjoyed the chat and sorry it got so long and let me know if you're interest, interested below bye guys